Okay, everyone, as promised, I'm going to make a terrarium. <clears throat> I told you guys I would. Hello. <laughs> So we have, let me see if I can get the microphone up a little bit more. Turn it up just a tiny bit. No, that's probably going to be it for now. I'm not sure what happened to it. It's probably because it's way back here, and if I bring it over here, you guys can hear me now, right? Am I loud at all? Now it's going to be in the way. There, we'll put it there. Then you have to deal with that little black piece there. That's okay. It doesn't really get in the way. So anyway, here is the container we're going to put the terrarium in. I got the dirt. I got some hardscape, and I have um, rocks for for drainage. And I have to make I have to make a uh, thing for it to drain out of. A little more of a hardscape, but that's okay. So basically, what I did was I mean it's pretty simple. I'm gonna have to do something because this lid. This lid does not seal at all. So I'm not quite sure what to do with that yet. We have to figure out maybe a uh, some kind of rubber gasket to go on there. I don't know. I'll figure that out. But uh, so there is our terrarium. All right. So the very first thing. Now I've already went through and I washed what I needed to wash. I have some things that are don't you don't have to wash like substrate you don't have to wash I mean this stuff I did this gravel here I did but the gravel over here I don't I didn't have to so let's go ahead why am I so low Dog's gonna make some noise here in a minute. Try that now. That helped a little bit. Bring it up a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. No, I don't think it matters. <laughs> Bring it all the way up, and that doesn't matter either. It just means it's not gonna peak to that far. You know what? It's fine. It's fine, you can hear me. All right, let's get started. First things first, let's get rid of these, put these on the side. And we need to put in our first layer of substrate. Now this is just pea gravel, just simple pea gravel. Uh, washed it as much as possible. I mean, if there's little bits of uh, leaves or whatever else in there, it's all right. This is basically for drainage, so it's not that big of a deal. And I am sorry for what you're about to hear. Oh, oh, I'll try not to. That's okay if there's water. There we go. Now I am going to go through and pick out some things. Some things we don't need. Like little pieces of leaf. So this is just for drainage. I have smaller rock that I'm going to use for drainage as well. But something this size, you kind of want to, um, you kind of want to uh, make sure that it's got good drainage. So the surface is pretty much covered. Get some of these leaves out of here. 
That shouldn't take too, too long to build. It's pretty simple from what I have researched. There's that. Now I want to put some of these smaller gravel in. Put some smaller gravel in. That way, even more drainage. Now, that's pea gravel. So basically, this is already, this is pea gravel. And this is basically, you know, fine aquarium gravel. Eh, medium. I'd say more medium. So, put that into. So we have even more drainage down the bottom. Supposed to put in the dirt or the substrate. Um, this is basically I went out and uh, moved some leaves and basically took the uh, love that smell. It smells like a fresh like rain basically. Um, some of the leaves that I took are took the leaves out and got most of this from under the leaves. Now there's tiny little organisms living in here, so that's what you want. So we're going to go ahead and start putting this in randomly. Get a good layer. I'm trying to break up. There's some roots in this one. That's all right, though. It's really not going to matter too, too much. Because this is alive, and that's going to help the terrarium to stay mold-free. They'll eat up all the microbiome. Let's see. Probably got way too much, but that's okay. I'll take it back out. <laughs> I actually started at a time that I said I'd start. That's amazing. First time for everything. You guys have been watching uh, Fallout. We've been playing a little bit of Fallout 76. Getting back into that a little bit. It's actually pretty fun now. It's better, I think, when you have people to play with also. But we'll get back to uh, playing the other games too. Now we need to finish Batman. I want to get back to control at some point in time. Here, that back so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just breaking up the, the dirt. Pretty fluffy dirt. <laughs> that was all under there. save ourselves some height here because we are going to be putting in uh, plants. I have a hibiscus that I'm putting, or not a hibiscus, uh, oh, what is that thing called? Hmm, it'll come to me. When I pick it up, I'll show you. Yeah, there was some root system underneath there from, like, I guess an old flower that was near there, or some flowers that were near there, bring this towards the back some, we want it down here too, but we want to, kind of like we did with our fish tank, we kind of want to still offset it a little bit, pack it down a little.
normally you'd want to use some kind of netting for this. But you can make one out of pretty much anything. So all you want is something down there to cover. Started putting some holes in this. Like I said this this won't take too long to be able to do this. But I said I would make one, and that's what I am doing now. This is just a normal storage bag. Nothing major about it. Nothing crazy. Actually, we need to move, remove some of that dirt and put this back in. I need to wait. I need to measure it out. That's probably going to work. Cut off the edges here. <clears throat> I kind of needed to do this anyway. Not only because of the stream, but I need some calm right now. So that's helping. A little bit, a little bit more. You want it a little bit bigger than the actual container inside, the circumference inside. Nothing crazy. Now, I don't like that's too much on this side, so let's go ahead and round that off a little bit. Go right around there. Another good thing about using the <clears throat> using the bag. Easier to cut. All right, that should probably be okay. So let's go back and <laughs> remove some of this dirt. I forgot about this layer. If we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it right. It's okay if some of that dirt got down in there. guys enjoyed the last art stream I did. Um, a lot of you came and saw it live. A lot of you went back and watched it on the VOD. It's also up on the Johto Show highlights on YouTube. I also have an editor uh, that I'm trying out for the first time ever probably edit it myself I just don't know how never really got into it so I'm sure if I teach myself I'll be able to uh, do that but I'm excited to see what he can do with my content of course you'll be able to see that over at the Johto show Hello, Sky. How are you, my dear? Thank you for coming in. We're building a terrarium right now. <laughs> I am removing the dirt layer, though, because I have to put down a drainage layer. Or a... Uh, a thing to separate the rock from the soil. But I was just saying that Everybody can join the Discord. I have to put that in. It should be if you uh, if you type in uh, exclamation point Discord, it should come up. You just got home. Well, good. Now you can turn me on and relax and get whatever done you got to get done, and listen to some soothing soothing sounds. While we, while we create art. Now, what I'm doing now is, since I don't have, um, you could use plastic 
you could use plastic um, or the, the, the plastic type of netting for a storm window screen. Um, they also make drainage, um, plastic drainage, uh, I forget what it's called. It's plastic and you just cut out as much as you need. You can use that. <clears throat> you don't want to use anything metal because of rusting, of course. But you, um, or you can use what I'm doing. Um, freezer bag. Because <laughs> it works. Now let me see here. What do I have? What do I have? You know what? That's fine. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm taking this uh, thumbtack and I'm going through and I'm creating drainage holes. It's not ideal, but it will work. Now this will protect if anything was still left in those rocks. Um, my dog decided to say hello. Uh, if anything's still in those rocks, uh, that could grow, it stops that also from growing into the terrarium. Sky, I hope you're doing good today and came in and see me do this. I'm very happy. I'm trying to center myself on top of create content for y'all. <clears throat> This is the only thing I didn't do before stream that I probably should have. Keep doing this until we have enough holes. Kind of looks like it's getting there. Because you don't want it to muddy up either. You want it to be able to get down into the rocks. And this uh, really didn't cost a whole lot. That's cool. You went on a date? Awesome. Did it go well? Good. Good. I'm glad to hear that, Scott. They say everybody needs somebody sometime. not too loud on your guys' end. Just making sure that it's actually going through and I'm not just sitting here scratching paper. But I don't mind doing these streams, guys. Like, this is relaxing for me as well, so... I did the fish tank uh, terrarium thing. And it's actually doing really well. I'll have to put another uh, picture up. The plant's not doing as good, but I mean, plants die. But I've been trying to keep it, keep the plant alive. The plants that I put inside are doing amazing. Like they're just growing like crazy. The fish are doing wonderful. Still have all of them alive. Yes, yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Russian Blue. Hello, Russian Blue. Yeah, it's okay. The plants die. Plants, plants die. I, it's just, I had to go through and take off the dead leaves, and basically, so it could spend more energy making more, um, 
you know, making more new leaves and taking care of the leaves that are already there. You know, plant stuff. How have you been enjoying your uh, Xbox there, uh, Russian Blue? Modern Warfare probably looks uh, totally different to you now, doesn't it? <laughs> that should be enough. Like I said, it's not ideal that we use this for what I'm trying to use it for, but it will work. It's not going to be as good, but it'll work. It's amazing, I'm sure. You definitely have new, um, different graphics in that one, too. We missed you the other night. That's cool. I figured you were you were gonna play with it and get it get into all kinds of stuff now that you can. <laughs> yeah, sky and blue, blue sky. Ah, hey. This is probably the longest the part is going to take. You wanted to play it? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I need this after today, trust me. Trust me. My brain is overworking. Yes, Russian Blue, I will be telling you later why. <laughs> one day you'll have a cool intro too, huh? Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Sky. <laughs> I love you, Sky. There, that make you happy? Made me happy. Okay. I think we put enough holes in this thing. Accurate? Yes, I know. It's okay, like I said, it's okay that I have that little bit of dirt down there. I forgot to put this whole piece in there. Right, so now I want that to be more of the back of it, so if that's overlapping, it's fine. It's fine that it's overlapping. <laughs> so now I need to I'll get a few rocks and line that to help keep it down. put the dirt on top of it. This will be the first one that I make. It's like actual true terrarium. clothing in it. <laughs> now need to bring this down just a bit here. Kinda want it seamless on the front side. Okay. Now don't worry about all of this. All of this will go away in a moment. You guys hearing the soothing sounds of of the music? Is it playing in the background? Okay. Good. So this is the dirt. 
dirt don't hurt. Like I said, there is stuff alive in this dirt. Little isopods, as they're called, apparently. Just gonna go in here and help the biome of the of the terrarium. tiny sticks and twigs that I don't want in there yet. <laughs> Oop, well, now there's dirt on my floor. Lovely. It'll sweep up. I said to bring this down a bit here in the front, kind of like I did with the fish tank. You want this to be more uh, down and then up towards the back, because we don't want to do too much more dirt than this, because we're going to actually be putting things in. Tiny bit more here. I really wish I had more moss. I only have a few pieces of moss that I'm going to be able to put in here. I looked around. I couldn't find moss. I found everything else outside. This is definitely a homegrown. Nothing bought except for this container. <laughs> But I was like, dirt? Got it. Gravel? Got it. Plants? Mm, I can do something with that. Dead dead tree stuff? Yeah, I got that too. <laughs> Not too terrible. Now that is a clump that needs to be cut up. This one's definitely a little more dirtier than the last project. But it being like late spring now, I thought I'd find more moss than I did, but apparently not. I think that's more of early spring and fall. But I did find a very, like, very few pieces of it. I'm sure you are, Russian Blue. I'm, I'm sure you are. God. <laughs> Crazy people. Crazy people. Uh, you're not using your head. All right. Now, I found this thing. Where's my, where's my sweeper? Found this thing outside. Thought it was pretty cool looking. Get some of those leaves off of there. Anyway, thought it was pretty cool looking. So I wanted to use it. Kind of cool. It's got some, uh, Definitely got some character to it. Now it might be too big. It might be too big. And that's okay if it is. I have other pieces. And this as well. We'll see. I think the lid will still fit. It's okay if it's a little high. And and same same with you, uh, Russian. It's okay if you're a little high too. It's okay if everybody's a little high. Everybody but me. <laughs> no judgment here. Kind of like that piece better. This this is pretty old. Wood. What a wood. Move 
the dirt around a bit. Put some of that behind it. Only judgment? No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Not at all. What's wrong with the world, man? Too much of it. Too much of it. Okay. That's there, that's there. Now, let's do... Aha! The hardscaping. Like, I was gonna put this in, but this might be too big. I do love this piece. This is a cool looking rock. But it might be too much. If I nestled it back here a little bit, maybe. That's coming together pretty cool. I kind of like that. And then we'll do some of these rocks. Yeah, we all do. Well, I did. I threw my shit out. Right, now, let's see. Where is the moss? So. And this moss is fine. It's just really dry now. That's okay. It'll pick back up once we're done with it. Just a little piece of wood with moss on it growing. Figured we'd put that here. Man, I actually got just enough. I didn't even think I was going to. I didn't do too bad finding some moss, how did I? I'll let that do its thing there. Okay. Now. <laughs> well, I mean, I am talking about wood. So, I mean, you only have a, you only have so many things you can say. All right, so I found this stuff here. And I even have, where? These are little things. Now you gotta remember, I'm putting plants, little plants in here too, so I, I, I may rework this again. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do yet. But, I think we should stop with this so far and put the plants in and see what we get. So I got some different little things. I don't even know what these are, but they were growing great outside. I figured they'll probably go great in the terrarium. So we have some of these things here. Kept them nice and moist. 
moist. This might be too long for this. Jesus, guys. Now you got me thinking that way, too. Sacrifice vibes. <laughs> well, you know. You yeah, know. Now we're going to open this up. Now I got these as good as I could. I don't want these big, big, big ones because. Back the root system just a tiny bit. Not going to hurt it. Say hello to my little friend. Actually, let these go through here. Pastas, that's what these are called. Knew I'd remember. Let's see how these go. about these hostas is I got rid of all the hostas in my yard. And this one was actually growing back. <laughs> Goes to show you that these guys do not want to die. It's like back in the, the 60s, 70s, ornamental grass was like a huge thing. So people like always had hostas everywhere. It's like building a fallout, so what? Or like when you're building a, yeah, settlement and fallout, exactly. I knew we'd bring this back to fallout somehow. Now this, if this all works out well, this terrarium will change completely in the next month or so. I don't know about the plant back there, this thing here. I'm not too sure about how it's going to survive. But, we have money.
it might. All right, now we can put some uh, more of this limestone in there. Or not limestone. Oop. Not the moss. Anything but the moss. We need the moss. I think we can break up some of this in there, just little bits here and there. But for all, it's too tiny for that, way too tiny for that. The next one I make is going to be for Russian Blue's daughter, if this turns out well, and then I will actually go buy. Um, I'll actually go buy real <laughs> plants that are supposed to be in a terrarium. I know this one's going to be okay. I don't know about these. That's the thing. These are pretty long. This might take up everything. I mean, there's already stuff in here.
See, I probably could get away with putting that in here, but see, it's, it's too tall. It's too tall. And it's going to look weird at first anyway, because of the... Uh... Hmm. Because of the, uh, the way way the uh, terrarium as at first it's always kind of uh, not full I guess you could say it takes time for it to look a certain way so like this all this moss should probably probably turn pretty well it should find out as it goes. Let me see how that works. Because that's the front of it. Let me put a little piece of this back there. I think that'll look better. Crescendos. You can't hear me. How come you can't hear me? Was I being too too low? So basically, I'm just throwing a little bit of stuff in there for litter, like natural litter looking stuff. Not when I turn away. Well, I can't move the microphone. <laughs> I wish I could, but I can't not move the microphone. okay you don't need to hear me as long as you're hearing the music and relaxing it's all that matters now let me turn this around because the back's going to look weird <laughs> now I'm just securing the roots and getting everything pretty much looking uh, more and more back here. Because this is the back, no one's really going to see the back. away. We're done with this. Clean up our area a little bit. Not quite done yet. Now 
actually doesn't look too too terrible. I'm surprised. <laughs> We're gonna keep this out. This we can throw in there. Not too bad, guys. Not quite done yet, but not too bad. Still gotta figure out how to seal this. Hey, Pacha, how are you? Good to see you. Oh, there's a little piece here too. We can throw in there. You know what? We're just gonna throw it right there. <laughs> Poggers. Yeah, we're making a terrarium. Ain't it nice? guys so my aunt hi emma how are you my aunt when i was very little or my aunt whichever you prefer when i was really little she had i mean this thing this thing was huge um it had like a domed lid on it and uh it was basically it was a terrarium i remember her having that thing for ever and there was all kinds of stuff crawling in there <laughs> That's good, Emma. Glad you're doing good. Let me get rid of this. I want to move around some stuff still. Pacha, I haven't been on for a while. I haven't had time, but uh, I did tune in and I kind of, I kind of did a uh, little bit of a, a lurk on your channel. Glad you're doing good, bud. Good and growing, man. Good and growing. Now we bring this forward. We're going to spray it down. And yes, this is a spray bottle for uh, hair. <laughs> kind of got to spray it in there. We can't just dump water in. Plus it also cleans the glass off a little bit for me. And I'm sorry, I keep hitting the uh, keep hitting the microphone. I apologize. Now we're just going to clean the glass a little bit. Is 
definitely didn't take as long as the didn't take as long as the um, as the uh, the fish tank setup. some of it back here a little bit so I can keep an eye on things as it progresses I mean this is all gonna have a bunch of condensation anyway once I seal the lid but hoping that would fit. Not the light that's going to be on it, but it's a light. Let me uh, let's do it this way. And that's what it looks like when it's up. Now the moss the plants should grow. I'm not too sure about this plant back here but the plants should grow, the moss should spread, and we should have these little guys running around in here, cleaning it all up. I'm gonna have to clean up the outside of this too. Not terrible. Not too good, not too bad. Not the greatest, but we did it. Not too terrible, huh? Amazingly enough. <laughs> Let me see if I have. Just clean it up a little bit. Get any big sprints that I might have put on it. I'm gonna hit it one more time in just a second with paper towel on the inside around the front. Okay, that's fine. I found this at Walmart for like, it was on sale for like, I think it was like $10 or something. It's like a two and a half gallon. I was really shocked. The next one I do is going to be more of a... Uh, fish tank type uh, one because if she's going to put her geckos in it Russian blue then it has to be more of a fish tank looking kind of thing but I'll do more stuff here soon anyway hopefully I 
definitely need something to seal the front or seal the lid. I'll have to figure that out. That doesn't look too terrible. I think the placement and everything's pretty good. Yeah, Russian Blue, bring them. Absolutely bring them. Yeah, I already see little uh, things crawling in here. <laughs> Good. We woke them up. So you got our new place. Get to work. Start eating. Do your shit. Earn your paycheck. There you are, guys. One terrarium. Let me see if I can get this a little better. We've made our own ecosystem. To see how uh, how that goes, because I know, and I can't take you guys over to the. Uh... No, it won't reach. <laughs> That's what she said. I know. Um, can't take you guys over to the uh, aquarium, but I'll have to take a picture and show you. over here now. And move that out the way. So if you guys didn't see, let me unzoom this so you can't see my terrible face. guys didn't see um, the other streams that we've been doing we've been doing Fallout 76 a little bit we've been doing um, I did I did play the game um, the one game with the the um, pop-up books I did play that that's also in the VOD um, also, if you go to Discord, you'll be able to catch us there. Um, you should be coming up right now, but apparently it's not coming up. Nope. Okay, I tried. <laughs> and then um, you can go to uh, YouTube at the uh, Jodo, uh, the Jodo Highlights is what it's called. Jodo Show, the Jodo Show Highlights, I think. Uh, I would give you guys a link right now, but I can't. Uh, for some odd reason, I cannot do it. Um, yeah. So this has been fun. Quick one tonight. Figure I'd get on and, and show you guys some stuff. I want to thank you all for coming in. Every time you come in. Every time you watch. Um, for YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, I said it. It sounds weird that I said it. But uh, I want to thank you all for taking interest in anything that I give you guys. Anything that I do for you guys. For you guys to watch. Night, night, sky. It's not only for you. It's for me as well. And um, thank you. All right. That's enough of that. We out of here. <laughs> Have a good night. And I'm going to uh, show you my, uh, my favorite build in all of Elden Ring. Good night, guys. Oh, no. It didn't. There it is. My favorite build in all of Elden Ring. Okay, guys, have a good night. Not my, not my epic sound. <laughs>
good night.